nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen this is what makes us a bad image. Look at this truck driver. That is actually not a turning lane where he's in. That is a lane to go straight forward. And this is what he is doing. I mean, that is pretty stupid. And I'll know he's gonna cut in, uh, in front of everybody. Oh, don't be backing up here, driver. I mean, he's in halfway in the middle of the intersection there. And it's red, you know? Like, that is just terrible. I don't know why what he's thinking or, or what his problem is, but why he can't see that this is the turning lane and get in there earlier, I don't know. It doesn't make no sense, but uh, yeah, look at him go now. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous. Look at him. I mean, that is just absolutely wrong, you know? ATD, Quebec. Yeah, that is just terrible what he did there. You see nobody turning alt, right? I mean, you see that line is just going straight out. I don't know. That is just terrible, you know? Oh well. Some are professional drivers and some are what they call steering wheel holders. And I guess he's one of the steering wheel holders. Alrighty, this is the exact same corner where that accident happened at last night. Yeah, and it's already halfway into the evening, I guess you could say. It's already 3.15 in the afternoon. That's my time, but Eastern time up here, Toronto time. It's already... It's already 4.15 in the afternoon. That's right, I want to get on to the 401 up here. Hey, I'm hoping the traffic won't be too bad yet, but it is Friday. Oh, look at that. That is bumper to bumper traffic. At three kilometers. Keep yeah, Highway 401 West, RDE 401 West. That's what I kind of suspected, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to get out of Toronto anyways. Because I'm going to go to London, Ontario. And then uh, we are going to be picking up a load there tomorrow. Or maybe even tonight yet. I don't know exactly. They're saying that load is supposed to be uh, ready uh, already. They're saying that they leave ahead. the paperwork outside. I might actually go down there tonight and pick that load up and then uh, at least I can fax in my paperwork to, to do the ace on it, do the uh, border crossing on it and then I could uh, be on my merry way hopefully tomorrow morning. Uh, that sounds like a good plan to me. Let's see if we can get into this line up over here. Yeah, there we go. That four-wheeler was nice enough to let me in. That's good. Obviously, a lot of people are going to try and go all the way to the end of the lane to try and cut in front of a few drivers, right? I know I haven't done much of a video today yet, but it's because I've been sitting there all day long. I haven't done anything all day long. Yeah, that, that's the way the economy goes right now, so we have to live with that, I suppose. Nothing I can do about it. I'm just happy that I finally got me a reload, so I'm not sitting here all weekend long. And uh, as far as I know, that load has taken us to uh, South Carolina. That's right. We're gonna go to South Carolina for Monday delivery. And then hopefully we get a 
to reload out of there. Don't know where we're gonna go from there, but hopefully they do have a reload out of there. That'd be kind of nice. But this is rush hour in Toronto. Well, it's not bad, bad yet, but it's also not the greatest, you know. But it can be bad on this stretch right here. Especially on a Friday afternoon. And, and then it uh, gets pretty plugged up over here. Yeah, so let's get on to the uh, express lane. It looks like the express lane is moving good now. It doesn't look to be too bad yet. Maybe that was a good decision to leave right now. We'll have to keep our fingers crossed, right? Anyways, let's continue on rolling and uh, see what happens. All right, guys and gals, this is what I'm talking about. Rush hour. Yeah. Well, it is Friday. And they're talking about uh, about 318 mile marker. There is a uh, accident up there. And we're, uh, I don't know if you can see the sign up there to the right. It's 320, so we got two kilometers to go. Until we are past that accident so uh, as soon as we pass that accident we should be back open up on the road here and uh, should be able to go again but yeah, apparently at 318 there is an accident so well, a lot of people are frustrated on the CB radio so I turn it off and figured ah, turn the camera on and show you guys a little bit on what I see Pretty much stop and go, stop and go. That's pretty much what we got right now. Welcome to Toronto area. That's the way it is on a Friday afternoon. It's usually like that. Usually Fridays, everybody is in a hurry to go nowhere fast. And then accidents happen, you know. But, we gotta get through it. Sooner than later, we'll pass it, and we'll be on our merry way, and then we will completely forget about what we, what happened here in the traffic, you know. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the day has come to an end. It has been a bit of a shorter day, I guess, in uh, in the video uh, part of it, but uh, it's all right. I think. Uh, Every once in a while having a little shorter video I think is not going to hurt me either but uh, I just uh, went down to uh, London, Ontario and uh, picked up my uh, preloaded trailer. It was all ready to go over there. The bills were hanging on the glad hand and uh, so we picked up our load. Trailer is only about half full but uh, hey. That's good for me, I suppose, but uh, I was looking at the radar there because they've been talking about that storm going towards the east there. And that looks like I might be running into it. That's from what it looks like right now. Unless it's disappearing tomorrow sometime, uh, I'll, be the, I'll be running into it and uh, that could be bad. Yeah. But I guess we will worry about it once we get to that point and uh, go from there, I suppose. But uh, on the other note, I was just uh, inside the truck stop there eating dinner and stuff like that. And I saw Dump Truck Bob had released a new video, so I went and looked at uh, what he got. And uh, he is saying that he is closing his channel. Or at least he's not going to be uploading new videos. I don't know if he is actually going to close the complete channel. But uh, at least it sounds like he's going to stop creating videos. At least from trucking. Uh, he didn't actually say if he was going to maybe every once in a while upload a video of personal time or stuff like that. But uh, for right now he said he's, he's going to stop making videos from what it sounds like. So... That's kind of sad. We're going to miss him. I like watching uh, some of his videos, you know. I won't say that I'm watching every single one of them, but uh, 
I don't mind watching a few of this you know every once in a while he's got some interesting videos out there and I'm sure it's the same with my videos you know not every single video is to the same interest so uh, not everybody is gonna watch that right but uh, anyways uh, it's always sad to see another youtuber quit I mean uh, we've seen it so many times already in the last little while that this person is forced to stop that person is forced to stop all that stuff so uh, I know I mean like uh, Ron Hart get paid he was pretty much told he couldn't record anymore so or everything had to go through the company and all that to for approval and stuff like that so I know it's not easy and uh, that is one of the reasons why I have created a support uh, button on my channel now that if you want to support my channel uh, you can do so and I do have it in the description down here below in the video I uh, created a little bit of a explanation in there on the, and it's not obligated I'm not really asking anybody to uh, give money or anything like that it's just if you feel that I have uh, brought value to you or have been educational to you or you find that my content is uh, of great value to you and you feel like you can uh, afford it and you want to support my channel and, and stuff like that then uh, I figured I, I'm not really going to be asking for it but I figured I'll for those of you that feel that you want to donate to me uh, I would give you the option to do so so I do have it on my uh, channel art uh, in the right hand corner there when you first open my page where you see my picture right there in the right hand corner you'll see a support trucker Rudy show button there and it's also underneath my uh, if you go into the about page it's in there as well and and if you go into the description box you uh, click on see more then you'll uh, find my link in there and I do have uh, all my links in there for my uh, social media sites and all that in there as well so uh, go check that out and uh, hey I uh, said it in, in my uh, comments box there as well that uh, if anybody is going to donate to my channel then uh, that money is strictly going to go to uh, towards my channel and um, I'm sort of thinking if uh, if there is going to be enough support to where I get on a regular basis where somebody supports uh, sends a little money or something like that I'm sort of thinking maybe uh, uh, I'll do kind of a little bit what Josh is doing I know I don't want to copy his idea or whatever but uh, I'm just thinking like uh, that's, that sounds like a good good idea you know if somebody is donating and if there is a good amount coming in or whatever then uh, maybe do a little giveaway or something like that uh, the, for those people that do donate maybe do a random pick or something like that and uh, send you guys a little bit of something you know and uh, put something together for you guys or something like that but we'll go and see how it goes and uh, we'll go from there I guess but uh, yeah anyways that's about all I got for today uh, I'm really worried about that weather store winter storm coming through there so I guess I'm gonna go hit the bed here and then uh, I guess we'll get up tomorrow and see what it looks like so uh, good night everybody and we'll catch you on the next one <laughs>